What you doing there, Jake of all? Oh, me? Yeah, you. <laughs> all right, so I haven't been super happy with some of these hot end fixes on the Creality hot ends, right? So the problem is that the tube, when it goes through, if it's not cut square, it oozes and you get a mess in this hot end, right? So a couple people have made hot end fixes where there are washers that go inside the top and essentially clamp down a piece of your tubing, right? So you put your, obviously you don't put the uh, old PTFE in, you use a piece of the higher temp and you put one of these little washers down. And if you look at these washers, this is the Chep washer, which I like because he did a taper. The idea is that if you have this facing up, that the filament's gonna hit this and wanna force itself to center. But these tubes, if you look at that, you can see they don't center themselves in here too because there's play. So what I wanted to try, and I'm not amazing with stuff and all of you love my uh, Ender 5 Plus stuff anyways, but I came up with a couple ideas and here's some versions. So what I wanted to do was make a washer that fit tighter in here. It didn't have the slop so that it stayed in the center. And then I wanted a spot to where the taper was bigger so the PTFE tubing would fit inside of that. So then I came up with this one. Hold it in the palm of your hand. That might be easier for me to see. Okay, so it's got two holes in it. One for the top PTFE tubing. Okay, and this one I made a bigger size on. In fact, I have to, I would have to ream that out, but I'm not worried about it because I was just prototyping it. And then the tip that goes inside the hot end towards the tip of the nozzle of the hot end has an indentation in it as well for the PTFE tubing. So this is the final version. And this is actually two pieces. Now, the thing that's nice about this is it looks nice and straight. These uh, when I modeled this in Fusion 360, this hole is a straight through hole uh, for the filament. So, it doesn't go that way, sorry. Try to. Oh, there's a burr, oh yeah. Let's try to use an end without a giant bulge in it. So if you watch that, that just goes straight in and doesn't catch because this PTFE tubing is perfectly aligned with this one because when I modeled it, these are on the same axis. Now this is multiple pieces, as you can see. That is the piece that you put down in the hot end. And then this goes in on top of it. And what you'll do is you'll still cut this piece, piece to length. And it's a tight fit, but I sort of wanted it to be a tight fit. And I found that it was better uh, when I put it on a flat object, and I pushed it together, and I'll mess with it a little bit more, maybe mess around with the tolerances, but you can see there, okay? And the idea is, is that this washer is still pushing on this because it can't go all the way through. Then I just cut my tube to length, put my nozzle in, and then I still still put and thread that on and clamp that washer in place. So now I'm going to have a straight path that I'm not going to have to worry about the PTFE tubing in here where this piece doesn't keep it from sliding left or right because I noticed that in all of the instruction videos that people would pass a little piece of this filament through when they were aligning the washer with the bottom end of the hot end and then they would align the washer with the PTFE tubing going in and the coupler. And you can see there, I just pushed that through with no effort. So I'm hoping that this makes it a difference. It makes a difference. I know that some people have said that this hot end is slightly off and their tubing is slight, slightly different in uh, length. So I'm trying to think of a smarter way to measure, not smarter, but a different 
Whereas you'll put this in, you'll tighten this down, and then you'll get a depth for that based on your nozzle threads. Uh, I haven't got that far yet, but I'm hoping this works out. So thanks for watching. Peace.